Now, typically, I, and I know this must vary all over the board, but just yeah. on average these days, from the time you and your team start working on a uh, potential short sale, how long does the process take? So great question. There's so many different factors to that. Just the simple fact that, you know, say there's multiple liens that have to be negotiated and all that. Our average time frame is three to four months from start to finish. Now, hey, that's, pretty, that's pretty quick, given my experience. Yes, I was just going to say now. The industry average is a year plus. Right. <laughs> industry average is a year plus because the people that are processing have no clue what they're doing. And so the bank won't tell you. The reason why this is a niche is because the banks don't tell you, hey, you know, we need this, this, and this. You send in something and then the bank waits three weeks to review it. Oh, by the way, I still need this. And you just play this game of cat and mouse forever until finally you know, someone either steps in or, or the seller loses the house. So that's why it takes so long because the financial review, if you don't have all the documents, if you don't know what to send to the bank, it could take forever. Absolutely. Well, I tell you what, years ago, I did short sales myself and okay. I didn't have, to, I didn't have to do many of them to learn. <laughs> I don't want to do this, right? Yeah. I want somebody like Nicole Espinoza and her team to like, let me hand this over and just, you know, you all just take care of it because I'm telling you, you know, negotiating a short sale is very, if you're doing it all yourself, it's very time or very time consuming or can oh, yeah. be time consuming, right? Well, we would never do it if we only had one or two. And, and this is why we only do this, right? Like, even though, you know, we're realtors, if we're not to working with traditional sellers. We're not running around with buyers like no this is all we do is short sales and just because of what you just said it is extremely time consuming but the difference is when you call wells fargo you are calling for one file when we call wells fargo we're calling all 15 at once because we do this at a high level wow well that really gives you leverage and i'm sure because of that volume of business it helps you get more of those short sale deals negotiated uh, to the real estate investor actually being able to make a deal, right? Oh, 100%. We have contacts at every lender. Just because over time, when we're working with, with the same uh, lenders and the same negotiators, over time, we start to we start to get contacts, you know, okay, we know the manager at the executive office for Wells Fargo. We know, you know, Bank of America's escalations team. Like, we just know how to facilitate the process. Um, and the hardest part about short sales is how do you get a yes when they constantly are telling you no, right? Like, how do you get around a bad value? Like, those are key things that are really what separate and differentiate us from someone that's just trying to see if, you know, they can just get a short sale done. Like, I wish it was that simple. Then everybody would do it. Right? Real estate investors raise a lot of private money for their deals. And if you would like to get, and you need private money and a lot of it, like really fast, then I invite you to join me in person live at my upcoming Private Money Academy conference. It's three days. We dive deep and it's you and me together. You can go check it out at www. And I have no idea what URL we want to put up here for this video.